Hey, yo. I'm still getting set up, bro. I'm good now. I was a little late there. I had to go get uh some I like I use kerosene in my in my house. So I'm like I'm like not only am I frozen right now, because like I ran out of kerosene at the like the most inopportune time, but so I'm like I'm still freezing freezing right now. So funny. How are you do How are you doing? Oh snap. Gas heater. Yeah, I use like a kerosene. I don't know how to explain it. It's basically like a it's like a space heater. But it's like it's it's it like uses kerosene. That's what like everybody does in Japan. So It's like, uh, I use one of these. Like this, basically. Basically, like, almost exactly like this. <laughs> to, uh, to heat. No, it, it isn't, actually. Uh, like, there's no, cent there's basically no central heat in Japan. Like, on a, like, in a normal residence, no. Morning. New sub? Oh, snap. Not new sub, right? Three months, bro. Thank you so much for the three months, man. I appreciate that a lot. It means a lot. Thank you. I will have a three month, a three month icon soon. I'm still working on icons and stuff. So thank you so much. Appreciate it, man. Morning. I hope you're having a good day, man. I, uh, I like, I just. Got some heat in my house finally, and I like I'm just about to take my jacket off, but I am still cold. I'm still so, so cold today. So we'll see how that goes. We'll see how this progresses. I know, man. I, like seriously, like uh, like ten minutes ago or so, uh, like fifteen minutes ago when I went to go get before kerosene, it was like it was like five, five degrees in here. I'm like freezing. You know, in my like outside, I don't care. Like you can bundle up, but inside, man, it's just not. It's not. It's not cool, you know. But it's all good. You know, I figure it out. All right, I changed the uh for this. I changed the Ergodox board a little bit, so we'll see how like we'll see how things play out today. I uh, I actually made it uh, a lot bigger. So, so like this package for this MCP is like is much bigger than the other one. The other one was so tiny, and I couldn't like I I had to like it was so small. I had to use like these really 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 tiny ones in there, and I was like, dude, this doesn't look good at all. I can't, I can't do this, you know? So, I'm doing good. I had three exams on Monday. And I have the next three on Thursday. Then only two more next week. And then I am ready to, to write my bachelor thesis in the next semester. Oh, snap. I remember my bachelor thesis. It was, it was dope. Like, I had so much fun writing it. I had so much fun writing my bachelor's. It was it was actually great. It was honestly great. It wasn't just good. I like I really enjoyed my I really enjoyed college generally speaking, but like I I really enjoyed um like my major the most. So I love I loved it. So it was it, it's good. That's awesome, man. And um about me, let's see what did I do? Recently I what did I do? I haven't done, like, I haven't done too much. I've been, um, just kind of, like, column zero. Here, like, we're gonna, we're gonna try to, like, line this up a little bit more. Seems okay, though.
what have I been doing that? Like, this weekend, my wife and I, we didn't really go out anywhere. We went to, like, eat ramen. We went to eat ramen, and then what else did we do? Like, <laughs> no, like, we went shopping, because we needed to go shopping. Dude, man, this one is, this one's going to be the end of my life, man. Like, I'm going to, my life is going to, my life is going to end before I get this one, before I get the Ergo Ducks done. I'm gonna be an old. I'm gonna be like an old man, and like you're just gonna see. Look at this. There's a. I'm just, you're just gonna see me like, and then it's gonna be like, like my deathbed. I'm gonna be like all laid out like this, you know, and then like, and then like, I, like, I, like over my chest is gonna be like, a, like an Ergodox PCB, and I'll be like, it was the one that did it, man. <laughs> That's how it's gonna be. That's how it's gonna be for me, man. I'm serious. Like some of them, like some of the PCBs just don't die, you know? Like seriously, some of them don't die. We have column five here and column six here. Okay, so that's how it's gonna be, man. And then like, I'm like, I did it. And then I'll have like the Yoda death, you know? Like, where, like, it just takes, like, five minutes to die, you know? And my wife will be, like, be crying, you know? Yeah, man, like, well... That's the thing, I got two more. I got two more after this, too. That's it's not even like, it's not even a joke. It's kind of like a bad joke almost, you know? Cause I have two more, two more commissions after this one. So it, it, it like, it actually is serious, you know? Like in, in some senses, they don't care. Like they're, you know, like people know like what I'm doing. Cause uh, like on my discord, on my discord, I have like, I actually have what I'm doing. Like it was, it, it's gotten so crazy that like I put a list of like all my projects and like literally everything that I like I'm doing it now. So, which is kind of ironic, but that's just the way it is. And we can see L, E, D, A, and B here are already marked. These are old ones. So, there's only a few things to go uh, around here. We can see that these still have the original. So LED, A, B, and C. And we're going to keep them. We're going to keep them just like that. And also, we need... We need these S-DAM these S and, and, and all that. We need that up here now. We're almost done with this side, though. So I, I feel good about it. And we can take a like just a quick viewer like viewer thing I hitting better working so this is like uh this is a much better package in my opinion so I do have to fix that uh like that outline the outlines again because like there's like two outlines for everything now There's like two edge cuts for everything, so like one edge cut has to get removed now. There's, you know, there's still a decent amount, so. But we, we're we basically done here. And we got a better, we got a better package for this, so I feel good. I feel pretty good about today, to be honest. Like, we're, you know. Sometimes, like, this, this just happens, you know. And I don't, I don't really care. I don't really care about it too much. This is VCZ. We're going to do LED, A, and B. We're going to keep these these in the exact same spot they were always there. So. You can see how they, like, 
they go down into these these LEDs here. What did I write my bachelor's on? Ooh, I wrote my bachelor's on uh, technology and uh, games and like if they're like how like game theory basically is like game theory like states like uh, you know like MMORPGs are real or they're not real you know like in a sense like like some people say like the experience that you have like is is a real experience or like you're really doing something like when you play an MMO and then like some people say that's just kind of like it's an artificial experience or not a real experience it was kind of like my argument you know so that was most of it you know but there was a lot more to it than that you know which a lot of it has to do with like how you perceive games and like, and, and not just online gaming, but just games generally, you know, how do you, yeah, well, that's different though. Like, uh, like, uh, more, more of it's like Marshall McLuhan, right? It's like a little bit more sociological mine. I don't, oh my God, my. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Like, uh, like Marshall McLuhan is, is a guy who says like, games are like, an, all games are an artificial experience. You know, like he, this guy said it right. And I, I kind of like, in a sense, like I feel that way. You know, so I wanted to talk about that, in a sense. And I started talking about computers and computer games and you know, like MMO stuff. Basically, we're we're just gonna redo some of this stuff. Like this SM and stuff, I'm gonna redo it from scratch. Some of this stuff is just gonna be cleaning up though, to be honest. And this is a 3.5 millimeter. This isn't correct either. So we have to change. We have to change. We're going to have to change it. And I would rather use like, like, honestly, I would rather use here. I would rather use like SMD stuff here if I can and not through hole and one thing we can do with that we can see that these go these go to here right a b c and like c but there's, there's basically nothing for them, so we might end up doing this part later. Like, I might just move on today to the other side. Because one th one problem I have still is that I don't have the, like, the official footprint for this. And so I need to go get it. And I still haven't, like, had a lot of time to go do that. So, so like, I might just do the rest of this like on my own time and start doing the left side because if we can get the left side like almost done if not done today like we're gonna be in really good shape and like these right here uh like actually go on the left side not the right side so i don't know or the other like the the right hand the main hand which is the right hand So, th so these components here need to move over here. Really? No, there is there is two over there. There's like a lot of extra. There's a lot of extra up in here. So 
so. All right, let's, I'm gonna start on this side today and then we'll go from there. How does that sound? And then we'll like, like, I think uh, this week we'll just finish this up. The one thing I, like the bit, one of the big problems with finishing it is making sure that I have this footprint, which I do like really do not have. So if I try to edit this footprint, like I need to find it. That's, that's one problem. So let's take a look and see if we find it. And it says, Hey, how's it going? Danny Pop, how are you doing? The, oh, are you having a good day? So here's from Ergodex at Keycad PCB, right? But they're like, there is no, there's no like original for this. And I wonder if we can just take this and save it as something. And see like if that'll work. Now what I, what I could do is like, let's put it into, let's put it into something. Let's see if we can, um, uh, let's see if we can save it as its own pretty, right? We'll put it into a project for now. Okay, so we did it. We actually saved it. We actually saved it into its own, right? And it's called Ergo Docs PCB Two Moons Hot Swap Pretty, okay? There, and it updated. Which is good. So like we're 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 cooking with skill gas. So so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take our right side one, which is right here. And now that we have the, now that we have it, we're gonna add the footprint here. And this is kind of a weird way of doing it, but it that like it is real, you know, it is the what it is. So, I don't. Well, I guess I didn't do it though. Maybe it did. Maybe it didn't though. Cause this is all the Alp stuff, so that didn't work either. Let's see if we can do it another way. Let's see if we can do it. So let's let's try to get it from here. Let's try to edit the footprint again. And we're gonna save the footprint, save in library. Let's try to save it in the Ergodox library. Let's see if this wor if this works. Okay, it looked like it worked. So let's save. Let's see if we actually have it now, because that's what we want, right? We need it. We need it for. Oh. We need it for the other side. So we're gonna edit these prior. We're gonna we're gonna try to add the footprint here. And we found it here. Now we have it. Now we have it, right? Now when we update, we actually should have it right here. And we're gonna we're gonna replace these. We're gonna replace this one. And you can see how it's it's up, updated a little bit. It's a little bit different. We're gonna like we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna like put it right into place. And we're gonna re we're gonna remove the other one. Now you can see like we have our updated one where it actually has VCC and ground. Now we can finish this side. We're gonna remove this. We're gonna remove this. All this stuff. This could, these can be connected because they're the same.
We're gonna add, we're gonna remove these. We're gonna we're just gonna move them out of the way. For now. Oh, I see. I see. I'm sorry. We do need these. We do need them. All right, but we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna move them around. And my guess is that we don't need them on this side, though. So, oh my god. So we're gonna remove them for now. We don't need them on this side. We're gonna do, we're gonna draw our SC, our. This is our I two C. So we're gonna we're gonna do the I two C. But let's remove this VCC for now. And this USB can stay here, but we actually don't need it. It's actually not necessary for... We're not going to have a USB on this side anyway. Now. Which is like... it's, Which is honestly fine. You know? We can go right through here. Actually, you know what? Let's let's just go straight up and over. And then we're gonna go right in. And we have plenty of room to keep like a nice profile here. We're gonna follow this one the back on back. So how have you guys been anyway? What have you guys been up to? What are you guys doing? Talk to me, guys. Like, I need some- I need some talk today. We can see ground. We're gonna have ground here. And one weird thing about it is... We did ground, and there. That eliminated the ground, because there's ground. Now that there's ground coming here, we actually don't need to do anything with the ground. But, but in this case, we actually, we actually kind of do. Like, it's kind of mis, it's kind of misleading, to be honest. So we want ground over on the right-hand side and VCC on the left. So ground and VCC are here. We want VCC, we want ground on the right, right? So we want ground to be first. We want ground to be first. Which means we'll come up this way for the ground. And we'll come up this way for the VCC. Because we want we want this to end up on the left. So we can actually go down here and just follow follow our beautiful our beautiful line. We gotta make the we gotta we have those sexy lines, you know? Lots of work for me as well as some color matching for custom cables. I need a custom cable so bad. I can't even tell you like how much I need one. I live in Japan and like it's it's crazy, you know. It's starting to get better, but but still it's like it's it's still kind of crazy, you know. With the custom cable stuff. Okay, so we, we did attach the ground and Normally, you don't have to attach the ground. Like, these two, like, you don't. Like, on the USB, you don't necessarily have to, like, attach them. But this is actually where we're, the, the ground is going to go from from the MCU on this side all the way to this extender on this side. So. Yeah, it's 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 not wild. It's absolutely terrible. Like mo like to be honest, you know. Like it really is, it really is bad. All right, so we have that. The only missing part now like there's no L there's no LEDC on the right-hand side, is there? Like let's take a look at this. Now now we can see here, let's let's take a look. I want to check this out, right? Okay, so we have three. We have an LED A, B, and C on the main one, right? The AT Mega. 
but like on the this hand there was no a b like there's no there's no c at all and there's no there's no room to put a c anyway because like these right here are all x and we can x them out man custom cable would just be hot like i would no like you don't even have to i would just pay to be honest like i, I don't even i wouldn't even care what the shipping cost was if somebody was like i'll make you a cable that you want at like you know and like uh and i knew who they were i would honestly just pay it i wouldn't even care like if the, if if i had to pay like 50 dollars extra or something for shipping i wouldn't even care because like at least i know the person you know and that makes all the difference to me you know that's where i'm at though like that's how i feel about it that's why a lot of people are like oh well you know like local you know local is good like i feel like personal is good all right so there is no there is nothing on the right hand side so we're going to eliminate this c right here Then he makes a a great cables, really, dude. I need a, I like I need a, uh I actually have a a picture. I think I have a picture of one that I want. This is a. Uh... All right, let's see if I can show you a picture of of like one <laughs> like all my pictures are like uh, of keyboards <laughs> oh here we go here this is a good picture of what I actually want like I need uh I need like a main well this is kind of the opposite of what I need Yeah, like right here, but I need it just the opposite direction. It doesn't matter. It's the same. So I need like, I need like uh one for um, like a macro pad that comes up. I don't care if it coils here or whatever, but like I, it'd be nice if it coiled and then went straight in either inside the coil or, or somewhere near. And then like the main, the main one would go and then they were just wrapped together and all the way to that to the usb like if i could find somebody to do this it doesn't have to be lemo it could just be like the regular i honestly don't care but i also like the other problem with me yeah it's like a double but the other problem with me is i do need i need uh two usb c so usb c c and then i need the mini and the you know the mac the micro obviously micro and the mini as well so i need i need all of them because because like um like i use i use a hhkb pro 2 like standard and i use like obviously i use stuff with pro micros so like splits and things like that so i i absolutely need to have one that has a micro adapter and so that that'll make it versatile for my table and that that is exactly what i need and finding someone to actually do it like who who right i have no idea you know so all right uh we have led all, all we have to do i can tell you already all we have to do uh no like here See, there's no footprint for this. So we have to get a footprint for these LEDs. That's all we have to do. So let's look and see if there's no footprint here either. So what we're gonna do now is we have to do we have to do the exact same thing that we did before. And so what I wanna do is I'm gonna take this footprint. I'm gonna edit this footprint and then I'm gonna save it. I'm gonna save it right here. Just I'm gonna save as. 
And it, it'll, it just says resistor, but I have no idea. Like, it's weird, you know? So we're going to save it under the Ergodox PCB. It just says resistor, and that's fine. And it's, now it's going to save it. Now what we can do is we can go back. And we can add our footprint. It, it's just like, it should just be resistor. And now we have the original resistor footprint. There we go. And then we're just going to go back and update. And what's going to happen is it's going to it's going to give us two of them. So we can just go and it already says A and B, so we're just going to use the exact same tilt. This is a uh, 315. Let me draft some ideas and I'll send them your way. I think I'm on your Discord. If not, I'll join. If not, I'm I'm good for like a hundred and fifty, like maybe a, like I can like anything over a hundred and fifty. I just cannot do, like unless I make payments, you know. Like but uh, like if you said to me like tomorrow like a hundred and fifty and then some shipping, like I would probably be like all in on it, to be honest. So just to give you a budget in mind, I like it's it's of course it's important to have a budget, you know, with this stuff. So so we're gonna go like this. We're gonna go three fifteen, and we need to. This is LED A, right? We can have it. I want it to, like I want it to be the opposite. I want it to be up. It doesn't matter. It doesn't honestly. It actually does kind of matter. The, probably the better thing to do here would be to do SMD. Yeah, man, dude, I don't even care. Like, take your time. Like, if it takes you three or four months, I honestly could... I don't, actually don't care. Like, if you told me uh, it'll take me three months before I could do it, I, like, I'd be okay with that. I would, I would actually wait. I would actually wait. And we, we also have, like, here. These right here. Okay. So we need... Now we need the LEDs themselves. We need the LEDs themselves, so... Now we're going to do the exact same thing. And that we're just grabbing footprints from the original, basically. Oh, my God. Okay. All right, there we go. That looks better. I was like, whoo. So it's called MXLED, and we're just going to put it in our Ergo Docs. And it's just going to save it right in there. And we're just going to go in. And we're going to associate the footprint that we just saved. If we... MXLED. Ooh, okay. There, we associated the footprint. One, two footprints. And now, if we update, we're going to get those two footprints... But let's let's place the B first. I want to place the B. Oops. Oh, it's not. Oh, sorry, three. So we're just gonna have we're gonna find three fifteen. Not 355. So, there we go. So, like, uh, yeah, like, I need it. I need it bad, though. And the problem is, is, like, I can't just go out and buy one, you know? Because I, like, I actually do need, I have, like, an actual need for using all of the connectors. Because, like, I have an HHKB. I have, like, you know, I have, like, obviously I have, like, uh, the slice and, and all that stuff, you know? So I use, I, I always want to use my, I want to use my cable, you know, for stuff. 
there. Now we're gonna delete this. There, we have the A and the B now. They're exact in the exact same place. So now we need we need uh, to update, and we're gonna get two more right here. Now we don't know. I actually don't know which one is A and which one is B. And the only way we're gonna find that out, I think, is gonna go like this. We, yeah. Or no, we have to leave the sheet. We're gonna go in here. We're gonna highlight this. And we can see that this one is the highlighted one. And this one is, we highlighted A. So if we go and highlight B, we can see actually which one is B. So like this is B. So we know we know where we're, we're like where they're going. That's how we know. Oops. And it's honestly fine. Like as long as it's it's close. Like it's not, it's not it's not a huge deal. It doesn't have to be like a hundred and ten thousand percent exact necessarily, because we're talking about like uh, something really small. There we go. We we did we do, I deleted the wrong one. Okay. We should probably delete. What is it? B one. And we're gonna highlight this B two. And just to make sure that we're doing it here, right. It's LED B, B1, okay. And we're gonna delete it. Do you have a chance to know what the host end of the cable looks like? I assume uh, there's a photo that splits into two USB like if it did no i don't i don't know i could ask him though because i kind of know him but but i actually don't i actually don't know but like i'm assuming it does and if it like if, if it does that would be fine i wouldn't i wouldn't care There, now we have the footprint associated. Now we can get this whole... Now I think we're good to like actually be getting the whole thing done. We're just going to eliminate the old traces for this. And not even like... Not even bother with it. We're just going to... We are... I'm, I am going to like do the traces the same though. We could go down here, or we could go down here. And I think that's honestly just fine.
I know it looks a uh, it look at whoa okay. Another thing we could do here. Uh we actually don't have to go green here. We can just go straight into red. Because it's through hole. We can just go straight up down and bam. And now we're good. Did we did we finish their side? We did we finish this side? Okay, so this one, there's nothing. So we're not gonna put anything here. We're just gonna delete it. I'll play with it. This is a fun project. Yeah, thank you. All right, so we're done. We're absolutely done with. We're absolutely done with this. We can see that there is some kind of, there's kind of some routing issues here that we're gonna, you know, kind of reroute or put a ground in just for, you know, just for the sake of it. It's just these two. You can see that it's surrounded by red. So the ground can't enter. What is the what is the deal here? Okay. You can see it's kind of surrounded by red and there's like there's kind of no way for ground to get in here. So I think one way of doing this uh would be to Let's see if there's a ground around. There's no ground around here. So just some different routing is is probably a better idea. Let's take a look. You can kind of see where it, it can't really, it can't get into here. So one thing we can do is kind of like move this. There we go. Well, that that like helped this side. Now there's like what? There's like this back is crazy, is crazy. So like the way this is routed, there's like there's nothing on this. So we're not gonna fix that now. We're gonna fix that later. There's basically no ground coming in here. Kind of strange. We're gonna have to tighten up some of these traces. And see how like see how that goes to be honest. Or move or move this to the right. So you can see it kinda looks it kinda looks bad almost, you know. So Oh yeah, but it's okay. It'll get. We'll get there. We're all, at least at least all the traces are done. You can see that there's there's only only the ones that actually go to the other side are are there. You know, it's the ground, the VCC, and the two IC like I two C. So we're good. We if we run DRC. We should end up with, we only have 213 unconnected items, which is not, I guess not terrible, but kind of a lot still, <laughs> kind of a lot for one hand. It's all good though. It'll, it'll get worked out quick. It's more than, it's more than as actually there because like a lot of the traces are just like, just need to be cleaned up. Anyway, like, yeah, like, I need a lot of stuff. Like, I'm kind of picky about about cables. I'm actually very picky about a lot of stuff when it comes to the, the you know, community. To be honest, you know? So. All right. Next is here. So, this is also kind of weird. There's a lot going on. There's a lot going on here. On this side. We also need this one. 
So we're going to edit this footprint. We're going to save this as this pro this footprint in the in the Ergodox PCB as well. This is called USB mini mod. I might I might have to take a break here in just a second. So this is called the USB here. Let's go back up here. There's no there's no footprint here for J1 USB. So this is called USB mini mod. So we're going to give it the footprint. Some of this stuff just does not have footprints and we just we we don't have a choice. We're we're going to have to associate it. This doesn't have a footprint either. It's not resistor here, right here. Right. I think all this stuff. I'll be right back, though. I'm gonna take uh, about two two minutes, and I'll be right back. I have to use the the men's room. Hold up a second. I'm back. Oh yeah, did you miss me? I'm just joking. We're still doing the Ergodox anyway, so it doesn't matter. It's always the Ergodox every time now. It's gonna be the Ergodox. It's gonna be the Ergodox forever. Forever. Every time I come on to do a show, it's just gonna be the Ergodox. And you're gonna be like, you got that Ergodox uh, done yet? And then like, you're gonna, I'm gonna be like, no, it's still, it's still not done. And I'll be like, I'll be like, uh, like uh, 75 years old. And then I'll like the Ergo Docs will be. All right, we need the LED one for this. So we're gonna do the LED. All these footprints are missing. They're missing, so we have to give them footprints. Otherwise, this isn't gonna work. There, and we're gonna get, we're gonna do the same with this. We're gonna give it the resistor. Electricity goes bzzzed. Well, well, we already have one hand done. Like one hand is done already though. Right? I mean, we're we're already in play to, we're in play to, for the finish line now. 
I mean, there are there are some big, some other kinds of problems, but like this actually this actually has a data sheet and everything. I actually went and data sheeted these on like on Sunday. If you guys didn't come, some of you guys were there. <laughs> Electricity goes. Bzz. I actually did um, a lot of a lot of the data sheet for this already. So a lot of like a lot of this stuff is like already parted out and ready for our menu. So we'll see how we'll see how this goes. All right. Is that the only thing that we need? Maybe. All right. All right, let's rock. We're going to do the same thing that we did uh, last time. Which was, remember the rows went this way and the columns went the other way? Here, the rows are green. The rows are green and the columns are red. And so we're going to do that. We're going to do the same thing. We can kind of see they're coming down here. The rows are green and they're, they're just coming down here and we're going to come down just like this. We're going to come down left side. This time, this one, we came down right side. Right side. So we're going to come down the left side. In red, not green. So we're going to do the, uh, the exact opposite of what we did last time. And the rows are going across. You can see they're going into the switch, but they're not going to go into the switch this time, obviously, right? We'll see how we'll see how it goes. So we have column columns in red and rose green. OK, and then we have all the we have all this nightmare right here that we have to do. But what we can do first is we can update to our new our new stuff. Did it give us new stuff? Oh no, it just updated. It updated the current. Great. So it found the old one and just updated it. Thanks. Perfect. Time to drag my ass to the office later, bro. <laughs> later, bro, man. Thank you for stopping by, man. I appreciate it. Thank you for waiting. Like I had to, uh, like, man. Seriously, thank you. Always thank you for coming, dude. Everybody, everybody's so awesome. I love it. Everybody's always like I found. I find like that uh, people are are so good, man. Just uh, so amazing in the community. Just so like everybody's so amazing to come out uh, here with me. You know, we're gonna. We're gonna eliminate that. We're gonna eliminate this. We're gonna cl just start cleaning. This VCC goes here. Like this is just a, it's just a mess, isn't it? We have a lot of we have a lot of work to do. All right, the best thing we get, I, I think, is the best thing to do first is to do the co like the the columns. Like this text needs to go too. I'm I'm not gonna like I don't I don't care about it. I just kind of clean, clean up here. For this one, though, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna like, go like that. So there's a lot to do. There's a lot to do on this side, actually, more. 
All right, good. We can see columns over here. The other unfortunate part about this situation is we cannot change any pins on this on this PCB whatsoever. They all have to be exactly the same if we want to continue doing uh, QMK, the QMK that's already there. I don't want to I don't want to redo the QMK on here. So we're good there. That's just it's just uh, that that's the actual situation. So I think we could do we could start by cleaning up everything first and just start deleting uh, things that we don't need. And that would be like, I think that's a good way of of starting. You can see like there's there's like junk hiding all over the inside of here. Oh yeah. So what else is new? Um what else did I what else have I been doing? Not much. Like I've been um I've been watching so like a bunch of Amazon originals and stuff like that. And that's mainly like what I've been mainly what I've been doing like in my spare time and work is like work is wrapping up for the year. So really not much going on there. I'm just kind of like finishing up my year. Uh, school school finishes up in March and then we have like a long break kind of well yeah kind of like a two or three week break in April. Because like uh, graduation, graduation in Japan is in April. So and then May, and then May is like the start. So like, so like uh, when when uh, n you know the new the new people come in, you know, for middle school or whatever, like they, they get to take pictures of with cherry blossoms and stuff. So. Which is like, which is like, that's the whole, that's the whole thing in Japan. That's where it's at. Which is kind of nice, which is really nice, like, not kind of nice, it's really nice. It's nice that like, when you, when you go to school for the new year and you're like, or like, oh man, I got a new year, you know, going on and like, you just see like cherry blossoms everywhere. Like it is, it is pretty. It is pretty nice. What did what did I eliminate there? Oh, I eliminated a whole switch. Let's not go eliminating switches today. I need to come to Japan at some point. Ooh, cherry blossoms. Yeah, you should. You should come to Japan. And I have a car, so like, if you if you wanted like a tour, like a driving around, like I'm fine with it. To be honest. If, like, if you were interested in me, like, actually meeting me, if, if not, like, I understand, you know? I'm not sure I would want to meet me. I'm just kidding. Ergodox minus one. <laughs> like, if I have these, if I have, like, PCBs of these, I'll just give you one, you know? I'm not even like that. Yeah, of course. Yeah. It's gonna happen soon. There we go. <laughs> of course, man, you could like of course anyone can come, like, and uh and hang out. Like I'm all I'm all about it. Like my wife's cool with it, you know? I met a couple people already. Well I met like Tyson from Tyson Builds. He did he does a lot of GMK sets. So uh, that was nice. That was nice. He met my wife and stuff. I love that. You know. That was a, that was a lot of that was hella fun.
We're just gonna clean, 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 you know? We can see, like, there's some weird stuff in here. I've been in Japan for over five years now, almost six years. So, it has its ups and downs. Like, definitely living here and visiting is, like, obviously it's much different, but of course, like, of course I'm going to say that, but, like, there are definitely positives and there are definitely negatives. So, it just depends, it, you know. It just depends, like, uh, I don't know, there, there's a lot to it. Really. I'm not sure, like, I'm not sure if I chose, if I chose to, like, come to Japan, if I would, if I would choose the same thing again, you know? It would be hard for me to say, like, if I would actually do it. Well, I live, I've lived in, like, Milwaukee, and yeah, like, I, like, I know Chicago for sure. I know Chicago, like, a little bit better because I used to, like, I used to have a lot of clients in Chicago, so, uh, like, you know, I get it, you know? Like, I get the, men I get the mentality of Chicago, like, you know, I, at least I think I do, you know, I don't, I'm not gonna say 100% sure, but... Yeah, I like Milwaukee, but, like, it it also has, like, it has its downsides, too. But Milwaukee is, like, pretty chill, though. Like, it, if you're in the chill area, then it's, it's pretty chill, I would say. I don't know how to else to say it. Like, I mean, there's good neighborhoods and bad neighborhoods. Like, like everywhere. But, but, uh, like, you know... Like, it has bad, bad areas. It has bad... Like, it has areas that are just, like, I don't want to go there, you know? I guess every city is like that, though. Like, you know? Not in Japan, but, like, you know, like, in America, like, everything is like that, so... Yeah. Yeah, and I think... I think the problem with Milwaukee is, like, it's... It's... There's not... A, there's not enough for me to do... You know? And, like, you know, I could say that I'm complaining or whatever, but, I, like, honestly, there isn't. You know? Here, I can go, like, if I want to go climb a mountain, I could just go climb a mountain, you know? Like, there, like, I can go hiking. I can go hiking in 20 minutes, you know? And I can, I can do that. You know? So there's a lot to be said about it, you know? But in, in Milwaukee, I can't do that. You know, like, the entertainment factor is, like, is a little bit different. Like, I like mountains. Like, you know, I'm sorry, flat land is boring. You know? Outside, exactly. The Midwest is flat and there isn't much to do. Especially, exactly, I said, yeah, exactly. Exactly, I love mountains. I went to Colorado and I loved the the scenery, you know? Like like Denver, Denver is crazy. Like if you if you just like chill out in Denver, like it's mountains everywhere. That's awesome. I would love to like that whole landscape intrigues me. Like the the new the new Mexico landscape, like I would say, like, the best word to describe it is it, it intrigues me a lot, you know? And, like, I want to know, you know, when I see it, I want to, like, uh, I want to understand, like, that, that, like, I don't know, I don't know how to, like, it's kind of, I might be bad to say, but, like, new, like, New Mexico style. What up, bro? What's up? Dude. Dude, we're, 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 we're getting there. We are getting there for real. We're getting, we're getting to where we need to be. Look at that. We went down to already, we already went down like 40 unconnected items. Look at that. That was just in like 15 minutes. So, 
Like that whole like uh, I think New Mexico like or you know like I don't know how to say it like there's definitely a style you know of like uh, like a New Mexico style of housing or, or like you know like a rustic a rustic like desert look you know to a house like with with pottery and things like that and that stuff like really like it really sets me off you know like I, I really like it you know and it maybe that's like i don't know superficial or whatever i don't know how to explain it but but like if i had a house that had like uh like a santa fe type or yeah stucco like house stucco type stuff like that stuff really like it kind of like it has a great look for it you know it has a great like theme to it for me And like that stuff, like and like I said, I, I don't know how to else explain it. it. Just intrigues me, you know. Like I wouldn't mind if I had a house like that. I wouldn't mind at all. I would enjoy that. Like just something like, uh, what do you like? How would you say it? Like, uh, like a one. Like a one uh, story house, you know? Or something. Like, it would just be like a, like a cottage type of thing. Or, I don't know. Definitely that those styles, like, are awesome, I think. Yeah, yeah. I think you get it, yeah. But, it, like, it's hard to describe in terms. I don't know. I don't know the exact terms. Like Milwaukee is good though. Like Milwaukee, Milwaukee is it's quaint and stuff. But like, if you grow up there, you're just like, jeez, you know. Like it's bar. Like once you grow up in Milwaukee, once you've grown up, you're like, you're like, okay, I've grown up now, you know. And and like now it's like, okay, bar scene. Okay, not really like, not really the great like the greatest thing. It, of all, you know? It's the neighborhood bar and that's it. That's what it is, though. That's what it is. Like, uh, yeah. Like, I kept going to the same bar after a while because I lived, like, I kind of lived in, like, an area that had a bunch of bars. So I just kept hanging out with this at the same bar. And, like, finally, I, like, you know, like, I started meeting people, I guess, you know? But that's not really, like, what I like, though. It's, it is so boring, you know? It's really not my style at all, I would say. And, like, of course, in the bars, it's not like they're, it's not like they're super sociable. Like, they're semi-sociable places, but they're not, like, the most sociable like, a lot of times, like, if I'm in Tokyo or Japan or something, you know, like, I could just go up to anybody and just start talking to them. Or, like, they'll just come up to me, you know? Which I guess is a product of just me being an American. So, like, I kind of I kind of get that. But at the same time, like, just generally, people are, are pretty friendly. As to which, dude, everybody's out today, man. Thank you, everybody. I think everybody, like, a lot of people have come out today. The Ergodox house. We were just talking about that today. How that Ergodox is gonna kill me, and like I'm gonna be stuck on the floor like this, and like, and then there's gonna be like an Ergodox over my chest, and be like, it got me, it got me, <laughs> you know. <laughs> that's that's how it's going right now. I love talking about this too because because Milwaukee, like. Like, I have a lot, like, a lot to say about it, you know? And so, but at the same time, like, I have a lot to say about, I have a lot to say about living in Japan, too. And I definitely have, like, a unique experience of doing that, you know? Yeah, there's a lot of feeling. There's definitely a lot of feelings. I have a lot of experience, like, actually, like, actually living in Japan, though, and... And I have, like, it's different for everybody, though, you know? So I just have my experience, and I can't say that it's it's better or worse than somebody else's experience. 
I just know me, you know? All right, we're going to do... Here's what we're going to do. We're going to start doing... We're going to start doing this stuff. We're going to start doing these lines. No, I met her in Japan, and she... She speaks basically only Japanese. Like, a little bit of English, but not, like... Not, like, anything. Not, not a high level of English. And then... Like, uh, you know, so we met like, uh, we met four years ago and it, it was just awesome. You know, it's been awesome ever since. It's, it's always awesome. I don't know how else to say it. All right. What I want to do is I'm going to, I'm going to start with the, like from this side. Yeah, like, uh, I don't know, like, I don't know how to explain it to her, like, explain to my wife, you know, like, my wife is, like, a really amazing person as a person, you know? Like, she's kind of mad, like, we, you know, everybody has their, like, stuff, but, you know, but my wife is, like, a very, like, a very, uh, I don't know how to explain it. Okay, this goes okay uh we're gonna go up my wife's like a very like a very cool like a very cool very like cool as a person like very cool you know she was on she already did one stream yeah j perms hey yo how you been, man? How you doing, man? Here's your here's your plate right here. We were I like I've been talking on talking up this uh this 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 PCB I'm gonna do after I get done with the Argo Ducks, and it's yours. Exactly. No. No. Uh, green is. Green is the, is, is behind. And red is the front. Dank. Yeah, I can't wait, man. I can't wait to do your PCB. I'm pretty excited about it. It's, I'm a little bit behind here. As everybody, as everybody tells me all the time. As we were talking about much today. Because people are like... Today, people are like, finally, they're like, why are you still doing the Ergodox, bro? <laughs> like, I want to see some other stuff, you know? And... And, I, like, I, I totally get it, you know? <laughs> if I was, like, if I was watching me, man, I'd be like, wow, you're still doing that Ergodox, huh? <laughs> oh, okay, same, uh, yeah, same concept, but opposite, exactly, yeah. Yeah, basically that's what it is. And uh you can see like normally you would say, "Oh, well why why would you not put like the MCU on the back on the back, right?" Well, like normally you would, but in the case of the Ergodox, there's like a clear a lot of times there's a there's like a clear acrylic on top. Or, you know, like, or it's all acrylic on top. And so people want to see, like, see everything. So. So that's, you know, that that's like the actual reasoning. I suppose, like, here we could go down this. This side went down here, left and right. Oh, that's because of this, right? To avoid this. And we need to avoid it again. So, probably... My guess is, like, here... Alright. What I'm gonna do instead for this row... Is I'm gonna go up... 
I'm gonna go up on this side. There. And we're gonna go down and over. It's like any of the splits through hole boards that show their components. Yeah. Do you like that kind of stuff? Like what like what do you think about it though? Like is that like does that have, is that any interest in you? Like is that interesting to you? Like the Discipline 65? I sold my Discipline 65 because I didn't I didn't ever use it. I just got done selling it. And I like I wasn't really too interested in it. Um I don't know. Like I enjoyed building it though. So I guess there was that. So we're going to go straight up here. Let's just get these done real quick. Like, I enjoyed building my discipline, but I didn't enjoy, like, owning it. I don't know, like, I don't know how to explain that. Yeah. Yeah. I guess I didn't really use my discipline all that much, and I don't know. I don't know what the like what the deal was for me. You know what it like? I think what a lot of it was is like it was like the first board I ever did, and I put yellows on it, and I like didn't I didn't like the feel of yellows because I was still new and I didn't really now see how we're we're doing the same thing. We're going down, down, down. You see how these these go down here, just like this. We're gonna we're gonna do the we're gonna deal with this later. But one one thing we can do right now is just fix up these rows. So we already know that they're gonna be how they're gonna end up. There's like there's you can see that there's like extra tracks here. This is like more cleaning. So, so, I don't know, Mil like Milwaukee, you know, not so sure, I'm not so sure about it. I know these are separate, but, and I wonder if this is like a good way of doing it. It might be, it might be a good way of doing it. Because they're red, like here, let's let's update once. Like that seems fine right there, like that. It's not inter it's not intruding on anything. So let's do this. We're gonna do rows. We're definitely getting rows and columns done today, for sure. We can actually go behind, but I'll probably just go like up right, right here. And the the only reason why we have to do these vias is because it's hot swap, and hot swap is just like a nightmare. There we go, dude. Even J Perms came came up on my stream today. Like everybody's, everybody's like, everybody's down today. Like I feel like, like everybody's coming around. And we can see that we're gonna clean here. Let's clean up all this. We already know what we're gonna do. So we don't have to worry about it. We can clean up the the rows while we're going.
there. Here, let's eliminate. We have to eliminate a bunch of stuff. There. Oh, yeah. I don't want it too close to the uh, switch hole. One thing we can take a look at while we're doing it is like if it breaks, if it really breaks stuff up, I really want to keep, I really want to keep the zoning in place as much as I can. So we're doing columns, just doing columns right now. We're just gonna go green to red, and we're all, all everything is gonna be red. Now the others, the other thing is like mostly the ergo docks was a through hole, and with that you can you don't need to do so many vias, like these these are vias. But in this case, we do because everything is basically on the back side of the board. So definitely one side needs. Well, like col either columns or rows need to be red and either columns or rows need to be green we want to do like some major cleaning like row like row cleaning while we go and do this and just clean up clean up stuff It's already it's already kind of coming together our, as we can see. What's the worst mistake you committed while designing a piece of it? I will tell you. I will tell you. Um what was the absolute worst? Oh, uh I yeah. Yeah. Uh well, I can't show you because I don't have that PCB um in the thing. I don't have I don't have, I'm not able to open it right now, but like, I've tried to do, one time I tried to do this USB, but when I did it, I used like, uh, I used a really terrible, a terrible fuse, and like, I got the boards, I got the boards, you know, from JLC PCB, and like, I put the fuse on that I thought was good, but it wasn't, it like, started smoking the board. <laughs> Like, the board started smoking, and I was like, oh, well, like, this must not be the right fuse. So, like, I just had to throw the boards away, to be honest. Because, like, they weren't correct. And, like, I couldn't do anything with them, and I couldn't sell them. And I didn't know, like, and I didn't know what the problem was at the time. So I didn't know how to, like, fix it, you know? But I've definitely ordered boards that don't work. You know, that, that was definitely a... The one time, I'd say the one time where I ordered boards that, like, I could not get working, you know? Fire, well, it happens, you know? Like, not everything is perfect, you know? Like, when you test PCBs out, you have to be careful, to be honest. I've had uh, more than more than my share, fair share of, of smoking boards, so... <laughs> I've had I've had a quite a few, not just not just like one or two. I've had a, I've had like a few, like go go that route, you know. Um, what else? What is the worst mistake you made? Well, like I've actually uh one big mistake that I've made that wasn't recent is I used like uh I used like a wrong fuse a lot of times, so. Actually, I, I I might still have this mistake. I can show you this mistake. This is kind of a... It's not really a big mistake, I guess. But, like, you... Just some things to be careful of. Like, uh... Here. There's, like... There, here. This fuse. This right here. This is a 500 milliamp fuse. And, like... There's... It's weird, because... With fuses, you have to be careful about a couple of different things. Um, 
like it's weird. It's like here. Here the the um it's like how it trips, right? It like it current hold is 250, but then the trip is 500 MA. And so you have to be careful of this stuff and like I've ordered fuses that were like that were like uh it was weird like they it wasn't trip at 500 like it was it was different you know and and like you have to be careful of like little things like that because it's gonna affect the entire board if you make like a parts mistake so and i've made a few parts mistakes before you have to like you have to be careful about what parts you order and if they're the actual right parts you know Otherwise, like, you're going to get it, and it'll be soldered on. Oh, oh, you know what? I made a really big mistake one time. Oh, man. I'll Here, I'll tell you. Dude, I... These are... What does it say? This says 22 ohm, right? This is 22 ohm. Uh, resistor, right? I put... I put on the order for the manufacturer, I put 22k ohm. I put 22k ohm for the part, you know? And it was a 22k ohm and it, it it did not work it did not work at all it was so bad so i was like what's the problem with this board and i was like oh man dude i ordered 22k ohm so i had to like desolder or try to desolder this right and i don't at the time i didn't have a smd rework station so like i ripped up i ripped up like three boards like trying to get these 22 ohm, these 22k ohms off the PCB, dude. I've had I've had lots of issues. I've had lots of stuff, and to be honest, like that's just part of the game, you know. I've had like uh, I consistently have boards that come in bad. Like I don't know, that's just part of the deal, you know. I've had that happen. That happens like a decent amount, especially if it's JLC PCB. Like they're they're more of a prototyping company, in a sense because like and then like sometimes boards will just come they'll just be like bad. You know, like if I order ten if I order like fifteen boards from them, like at least two or three boards are gonna be like bad, maybe even more. And that's just like there's gonna be scratches on it, or something like that, and you can't sell like you can't sell that. You have to, like, throw it. You just have to chuck them in the garbage, you know? You can't sell it. You can't prototype them. You can't do anything with them. So you just have to chuck them in the garbage. That reminds me of being a kid when our computers just started smoking. I remember my oldest brother taking it and throwing it in the front yard and turning the sprinklers on. Oh, my God. <laughs> that is unbelievable. That's, that's actually really funny, man. That is really hilarious. Okay, we're gonna do the next one. Oh, that is that is hilarious, bro. I've never had like too much of that though. I've definitely fried my fair share of PCBs though. Like, and that's just part of the game, you know? And, like... Like, still I worry about it, you know? I have returned, now at the office. Oh, yeah. Like, he's at the office now, he's watching me at the office now. That's awesome. That is fast, man. Like, what is your what is your office commute like? It must be, it must be quick, bro. Your office commute must be, like, super nice. We're gonna move this. We're gonna move. I'm gonna move, like, literally move this. Oh, we don't want that. We don't want 90 degree. But we are gonna do this row. We were just talking about uh, smoking PCBs. Oh, dude, that's great, man. If I could walk to work, if I could just straight up walk to work, I definitely would.
What is this? This is column. Okay, so here we go. That's gotta go. I fried a lot of drone parts. That is awesome. I don't know, man. I, I can't do the drone stuff. It's like, I think it's still too expensive for me, you know? I think it's too, like, it's still too, like, still too kind of expensive for me. So, it's kind of, I don't know if I'm not, I, like, yeah, well, I mean, not as bad as pinball. Like, pinball is the absolute worst. It really is, I mean, it's terrible. Like, don't get into pinball, you know? Like, if I, if I was gonna, like, give you any, like, real advice, my recommendation is, like, if you're not, like, if you're not, like, all, you know, all that rich or whatever, like, don't even bother going to pinball. And just, just, just because, not because, like, you, you shouldn't or you couldn't, like, I'm not trying to tell people what to do, of course, but, like, I don't recommend it. Let's just put it that way. All right, we can do this now. Now that we have rows, we actually, we can do columns. We have, like, the general idea of, like, how these are going to go. Um, we have, we, like, we have, we still have a couple unconnected diodes and stuff. But, uh, we can see, we can do, like... We can definitely get the rows in. No, pinball, like, pinball is absolutely terrible. It really is bad. Um, I think pinball is the most costly hobby I've ever, like, done, you know? Yeah, there are a ton. There's a lot of reasons for it, though. Like, a lot of pinball machines are, are like, rare, just generally speaking, you know? And, like, a lot of the parts are just not made anymore, so, like, that's kind of a factor. We're going to start getting rid of this stuff now. But we are we are gonna try to keep it in the like in the same area. I do want to kind of keep things the same. And so we're gonna come down. And we're gonna go here. The other problem is, see, we have these pads here, so we're we're kind of in a world of hurt when it comes to this. Um, I think pinball is a is a good hobby. I think it's an expensive hobby. I think it's a it's a super fun hobby, but but I don't know. Like we have a we have a problem. See these pads are gonna get in the way. We're gonna have to do something about that later. What do you guys think about pinball? See, this is 90. I really don't like doing this kind of stuff. I'd rather come up like this. I suck at it, but it's fun. But what about collecting it? Like, is it something you, like, you would collect? You know? I owned, I owned one pinball. I owned a lot of arcade machines before. And arcade stuff is, like, is nice. Okay. All right, so we're definitely going to come up. We're going to come up here, and then we're going to do... We're going to eliminate this. We're going to do the next row. We're going to bypass that for a second, and we're going to come up just like this. But, so I've, like, you know, I've had the, I've been in the arcades. The arcades scene is, is pretty nice, you know? I don't know how it is now. 
the link policy for the channel. The link policy for the channel is no links. Do you need do you need to link something? The link policy for my channel is discorded. And then like I can look at it, you know. If you need if you want to link about something. Oh my god, I want to see this. No. Put it in my in my general Discord. Put it in my general Discord. You can see right here we have to we have to get out. We have to go down. It's kind of a kind of not like really ideal here. This is kind of crap. Like I don't recommend doing this kind of stuff just generally speaking. But we need we need to get out so we can Like, I recommend usually kind of trying to do not doing 90s. But if there's a via, it's not terrible. Let me know when you link it in my general, and I'll open it up on stream. I know that's kind of a weird way of doing it, but it's just, it's nothing to do with you. It's just bots. Oops. All right, we're doing we're doing row. Okay, we did row. Yeah, yeah, don't yeah, please don't take offense to it or anything. It's not my intention, you know. Yeah, general. Just general. Yeah. Just general channel. Hook it up, man. Let me know when you did. As I lounge. Yeah, lounge, general. Whatever. I need to, like, uh, that's another weird thing. Like, I don't really have, a like, a Discord to hang out with in, you know? I hope, like, I, I wonder, like, where I should go. Dumb pulse and lounge. All right, let's, let's rock this out. I'm good. I'm good with this. All right, let's do it. Is it loud? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> All right, here we go. All right, hold up. Here we go. We're 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 already there. We're uh, we're on the case. There's a few more now. Dude, what is this for real? Like what is the What's the deal here, man? How many you got? You got 1 2 3 4 5 6 Seven at least. I think seven, right? So you have maybe you have ten or so. Is that it? This is re this is insane. That's all. That's awesome. Oh, but yeah, ten. Yeah, dude, that is ridiculous, man. Come on now, like that is like that is amazing. That is really great. Are they interchangeable at all or, or or not, you know? Can you can you in can you interchange them at all? You can see here we have to connect these. We have to go down. Here, there we go. We we finished we finished that. We can see that there are like we're eliminating, we're eliminating a lot of stuff. 
Here we have to go. Like eventually we're we're already prepping for the end, for the end run. The end run is is already being prepped. And I can tell you like it sh it should look really nice, you know, when it's done. Those are all set up around my main gear. So like uh if I was going to get like a starter drone and really what I want a, a drone for and I've wanted one for a, a while now is just to like take pictures of my, my wife and I. Like uh when we go when we go to the mountains or whatever. And like it's like semi illegal in Japan though. That's that's like kind of is one problem. So like there's that. I have to worry. I have to worry about drone like drones in Japan. There's a there's there's a bunch of law there's a bunch of like drone laws and they kept like like about three years ago or so they like kept adding more and more. <laughs> this is like this is like the most stereotypical picture I've ever seen in my life. It's so funny. Yeah, this is a lot. This is a lot. Tokyo is just like a no-go. What are the prices for it? Everybody's talking about it now. Like, I, I did a stream. I did one stream, and now everybody wants a 3070, you know? All right, uh, if I want a 3070... Okay, let's... Let's see if I like don't dock my dox myself, okay? Hold on. Alright, good, okay. So if I want a RTX 3070. Alright, so this is This is like uh right here. If I was gonna buy this now on Am let's just say Amazon, okay? This is twelve hundred. Like 1200 basically. That's just Amazon right now. Let's see if there are any, right? There's no, there's none here, right? Here's a RTX 3070 for a thousand. Here's an EVGA. Yeah, here's a thousand right here. Yeah. That's pretty nice. You can add add the cart right now. That's just that's just like uh like Amazon prices or whatever, but you can like I can go to a store and buy one, you know, generally. You know what I mean? Like not everybody can like it's like in America that's difficult to say, you know? The, the prices are no better. They're no better, but the stock is better. Oh my god. They're no better, but definitely stock in Japan is better. I mean, I picked up a... I picked up a 1660 for like 200 like for msrp or whatever i mean i know that's like it's not like you know the hot stuff or whatever i don't care you know about that stuff but so but i you know like if you like 
I think the thing is, is I can go and grab something for MSRP if I need to. If I need to. I wouldn't worry about it. If I had the money, which I, which I don't have $1,000 laying around, you know, that, that I don't want to use for something else. Um, if I did have it, like, I could go and buy something, like, just just generally for, you know, a decent price. Like, the chance of me getting something for MSRP is, is like, really high, you know? I would say that, I'd, I'd say that's probably more accurate, the most accurate. All right, where are we at now? All right, 82, we're down to 82. We were at 300 and like 320 before, and we're already down to 82. Can you believe it? Like, are we closing in on it or what? Can you, like, can you feel the end? Can you feel the end? Can, like, can, uh, can J Perms feel, feel like the next PCV getting done soon? <laughs> Can you feel like me, like actually working on like your PC? Hi, I'm glad you came, man. You're orange now, bro. Like I don't, you're like you're. That's great. How you been? Can you see it? Like, can you see the progress we're making? We got we got left hand done. Left hand is done, man. We don't need this USB here, but left hand is done. So. You're, you can use the left hand now, but you can't use the right hand. But we're, we're, all, I'd say we're about halfway done with the, with the main hand. So. And I'm feeling, I'm feeling good about it. We got all, basically almost all columns in rows, except for the thumb, the thumb cluster. Um, which is fine, to be honest. Alright, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start up in here. Because this is kind of like where everything is now and once once we have this kind of done I'll feel pretty good about it let's see where this is going to go now one thing to keep in mind about this oh my god why don't I just delete diodes okay that's really not a good idea okay the one thing to keep in mind about where's the VCD okay is that we cannot, under any circumstances, we cannot move pins. At all. We cannot join, we cannot uh, move any pins whatsoever. And we need our reference board, so we're going to open up a reference board. And let's use, what are we going to use? Let's use this re as a reference. We don't need to remember everything. That's the thing. And like, I, I always want to stress that we don't always have to like, we don't have to be like a super memorizers, you know? It's not necessary for us to, to like remember every last little detail that we did. As long as we have a good handle on on things, then we can. Thank you. Then we can move. We can move forward. Okay. All right. So let's look. Now. We need uh thir like it looks like thirteen is reset. Let's take a look. Yeah, 13 is the reset. We're going to go into our 13 here, and we're going to take a look at the reset. Okay. We can see it comes right through here. It just come, it comes, like, just right through, right through the diode. So we're going to put the die. we're going to put the, the, it, this, like, uh, capacitor right here. And we can probably just, like, this is, what, 45? We can put this at 45 and move it around. 
and have it. We're gonna have VCC come out. We can kind of move. We can kind of move this stuff around. We're gonna we're gonna deal with it later. We're gonna have, we're just gonna come out in here and then go right into red. And then our, our reset button is is like basically done. This is gonna complain about ground on the other side, but we don't have to worry about that. We don't even need anything. We don't need anything here. Okay. All right, let's look at C3. C3 is uh, the normal filtering. And let's take a look at, uh, it's coming out of 14. The five volt is coming out of 14, that's it. So we're going to come out of 14 like this. And these pads are nothing. So we have some room here. And I'm just going to go right into the crystal like this. Oh, I guess we, we do. We do need this. We're going to do some maneuvering. I want to kind of... Oops. I don't know why it keeps throwing that air. We're gonna kind of move this down. And it, it's okay, like, it's okay if you don't get it right the first time, you know? You can try, try again. Right? We're just gonna we're just gonna just start getting rid of these tracks and we're just gonna redo them. And like there's nothing wrong with redoing stuff. Who cares? Who cares if it like who cares if you do it like wrong the first time? You can always correct it later. We can just go into VCC here and ground here. And we gotta check, like, here, like, the other weird thing about this is, like, this needs to go into here first. Like, I feel much more comfortable having this in here, and then it connected to the VCC here. And we can take a look at that in our, our example board. And we can see that the VCC, or, like, the, the, the 5 volt comes out, it comes into this cap first. And then goes into the other cap, vice versa. Now it might or might not make any difference, but just in case it does make a difference, it's fine. We we have it the exact same way as before. Like this is kind of weird too. Like I, I normally don't like, I don't like like these angles like so close. I'd rather come out and then like, and then have it up like this and then a little bit more like further out. We can see, like, this is kind of weird, too. I'd rather it come out in more of, like, a Y scenario than, like, a, like a bunch of 90 degrees. And let's see, uh, here. The other thing we, get, we need to do here is we need to kind of, like, move this around. Because we need to get 16 out. We can see that this is um this is on the wrong side. So we're just gonna move it around. 
And it's okay that we come down and come into here. It's really no big, it's really no issue whatsoever. Probably the better way of going about doing it though. Classic Rory, man, everybody is coming out today. Thank you. Everybody's at least stopping by to say hi, man. I like, I really do appreciate that a lot. Dude, thank you. Thank you guys. Classic Rory, like we got J perms up in, up in here. Everybody's up in here. Dude, I'm not a legend. You're a legend, man. I'm like, you guys, you guys are the legends. Like, everybody who comes out to see me is a legend, man. We should probably, like, here, we gotta, we gotta move this stuff in a different, kind of different area. We're gonna, we're gonna kind of make some space for this, because we need this space. All you guys, dude. All you guys are legends. I'm not the legend. Like anyone who comes out to see me, dude, that like and talk to me and stuff, like that's that's a legend. The other thing we can do here is like we're already coming up against like uh like kind of problems, right? You can see like we're we're not making the grade. One thing one thing we're not doing right now is making the grade though, for real. So what we're going to do to like attempt to make the grade is we're going to use like slightly smaller tracks. You guys are the like the serious legends, man. Did we make it? No, we didn't make it still. We didn't make it, so here's what we gotta do. We gotta, we have to adjust. We have to. Okay. We gotta move, we gotta move down, like down a little bit. This you, this LEDC can just come out wherever. It doesn't matter. My wife is home now. You guys said like you wanted to meet her. <laughs> All right, let's let's see what we can do here. We we definitely need more space. Oops. Why is this one always uh locked? I don't know. We're going to we need more space. Dude, this vibe the vibe is hot tonight, man. Dude, everybody is like, oh, you see these like these nice 45s. We're hooking it. We're hooking it up today. We're going to come down at like nice 45 degree angles and just keep going. Just gonna prepare what we got going on. There we go. Oh yeah. We're gonna yep, there we go. Yeah, like it it is like if it if it's right then it's right you know I want to like I want to try to I usually don't like like I want to you want to try to straighten this stuff like later see how it's like not straight still At least kind of try to make it straight. There we go. 
clean. Exactly. Well, that's the thing. That's what you want. You want that that nice clean look, you know? I always tell people, like here, this one has to go, like this pin actually has to go all the way over there. We got a lot, we got a lot of work to do when it comes to like what we got going on yet. Look, we have column 11 and 12 here. We don't have a choice. I wouldn't normally like move these pins around, but I cannot move these pins around because of QMK. Because QMK is already there, you know? Is this a dead pin? This is a dead pin. At least we have an edge dead pin, so that's fine. And then this is like LEDC, so we have to get it. That's not too far. So. The pins are what they are, and we can't change them. Otherwise, like, I usually move stuff around so to make it cleaner. So I'm just going to say that it's going to be, like, slightly more messy than normal. So... All right, so we're going to leave those those pins for now. We're going to go over to... Nope, we missed one. Okay, we're going to go here. And we're going to do a uh, green. And we're going to start going around soon. All right, let's look at this C2 here. So we can see that C2 is the first one here. And then we can see it is right out of 24. Let's make this one 45 as well. Clean. So what have you got been up to classic? What do you like what have you been doing? What are you up to late? What are you building lately? Yeah, you. What have you been doing lately? I'm half watching. You're like, oh, half watching. All right. All right. I got you. <laughs> no big deal, man. Don't worry about it. It's all good. Here, 25 is nothing, right? Let's look at let's look, look, look at this. Here, we're gonna put X's up in, in all these. We're gonna start Xing some stuff out. This is gonna help us later. We gotta we gotta we're we're notating this one is also a dead pin. Anything that's a dead pin, we wanna make sure we have good. Shh. <laughs> Just build a KVD. 67 and doing some other stuff you know about all right it's a secret i know we're like we're in the secret in secret mode probably i'm gonna get to the next one my guess is my guess is that i'm gonna be done uh well i'm like i'm doing thursday right so thursday i can probably start is it really a secret Secret, secret, I got a secret, right? Or whatever. I'm bad at singing, by the way. All right, so we X that out. So I'm gonna update. And we have, it's nothing, it's a dead pin. Okay. There's a bunch of dead pins here. So that's actually kind of nice, to be honest. All right, so we need Let's look at R6 and just make sure, uh, by the way, do you guys want, uh, do you guys want, um, an AT Mega or do you guys want STM32? What do you want? Take your pick. I was gonna, I was gonna do STM32. What's better? N neither. Like for yours, it's not going to make any difference really. Like better, like, um, the STM32 has uh, more memory yeah does it matter not really like not in a not in a real sense but some people are like it's stm32 or whatever you know stm32 is so cool or whatever so like you know but for but for like like in a practical sense it doesn't make any difference 
whatever you think. All right, like I can just do the regular. All right, so R6. Let's look at R6. So we're gonna, this is the 10k ohm. So let's make sure we have the 10k ohm in where it needs to be, okay? And it's coming out of 33 and then just goes right to ground and that's it. We are gonna connect these grounds up. And we are gonna connect ground, we're gonna connect ground um, here from the 3.5 millimeter all the way to the MCU. That's happening. Okay. All right, so that's done. We can see we have we have like columns and stuff here. This is good, like this is gonna be a problem later. So we're gonna move. We can see like that's not really gonna be like nice, right? So I'm just gonna go. I'm gonna go up a little bit. So there's room. There's room to come out. We're just gonna start. We're gonna start it and then go from there. You know. There's only three. Oh my god. Sorry. There's only three pins on this side, so, like, you know, and then the VCC and ground, and then the uh, this one, you know, the 10K. So it's really not bad on this side, which is good because this is the side that's facing away from, like, almost everything. All right, we're going to do the C4. We're just going to go around. We're going to go around the MCU, and we're going to wire, and then, and then we'll be basically, like, we'll be in much better shape. Okay, so C4. I can already tell you, C4 is going to come out of 34. But let's just take a look just to make sure, right? C4 is the third one. Okay. It comes right out of 34, and, and then it goes to ground, and that's it. Easy peasy, right? Lemon squeezy, right? Okay. Nothing special. I am going to connect all these grounds together at least, at least right here, you know, and in the center, we're going to go, we're going to go in the center and connect all the grounds together as well. Right. Perfect. And it's fine that they're in the center, at least for this package. Like, um, like normally, like the other packages for this MCU, like you won't put anything in the center. But for this, it's 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 perfectly acceptable. I can already tell you this. This goes here. We might we might have to pull this out a little bit more too. I kind of want to, I'd rather see this go 45 and then bam. I'd rather pull it and then I'll pull the ground out for this. And we are going to put all the ground is going to go together somehow, you know? And whether that has to be green or red or whatever, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what side of the board it's on or if we have to, you know, if we have to do something with it. But our rows, we can see our all of our rows are like basically up here. We have row zero through five is up here, and this is all gonna be green, green to red, right? All right. The last thing we have to do, we have to do this side. We can do uh, VCC into forty-four. Oh dang, man! Trade splitter at the tier one, dude. Thank you, man. Like, thank you guys. I appreciate it. it. I really do. It means it means a lot, man. Like the tier one, the tier ones, man. Thank you guys. 
I appreciate that this content has meaning, you know? And it's not just like... Dude, thank you, man. Oh, thanks, man. I appreciate it. I, uh, I have enough tier... I have enough subs now for a second... For a second icon, so I might just do the two moons for the second one. So we'll see how that goes. I gotta get the two the two moon icon up. And then for the uh for the sub tiers, like the tier one sub is gonna be like uh like a, a dark moon. And then like the like as you go up the subs. Thank you guys. But you guys like I love the support. As you go up in the sub like levels, I'm gonna like the moon's gonna get like more and more full, you know? So I'll probably be doing that sometime in the near future, you know. I got, I have to, you know, just for, just for the kicks, you know. All right. That's that's like that's like my goal, man. All right, this is coming out, and just going right here. This is the this is the data. So this is a, this is kind of important stuff here. Thank you guys, man. Always. We can see like this, like we have to, we have to be careful, like how we, we just got to make sure we come out here. At least with this, we can kind of come out on the side. We can come out a ground here and we can go we can ground everything out this way that's really a, a non-issue you know let's look at c1 once and just make sure that everything is good yeah so this comes out of the u cap and let's look at this c1 just a just a review it just goes right here and then goes to ground so really a non like a non-problem no problem. You can see the D1s are, the Ds are next to each other for the data. And then just gonna go right up to the USB. Now I could put uh, ESD protection on here and I, I was, I've been considering doing it for a while now. So we don't need to put ESD protection on here if we don't, I mean, obviously we don't have to put it on anything if we don't want to. So, but at the same time, you know, like maybe, maybe we should. I feel, I feel kind of conflicted about it, you know. Like, should we do it? Shouldn't I do it? You know, things like that. Cannot start routing inside keep out area or border outline. It's kind of weird because there's no border outline there. We'll have to take a look at why this can only be green <laughs> and it can't be like red. It's one of those old board things, you know, like it's one of those old, those old board things that you can't. You're like, why is this the case? Uh, we, I don't know. Like, it could just be this footprint. This footprint is weird, you know? Like, it's old. And we need VCC. We're gonna need VCC, the data pin here, and ground. Right? All this ground. It can just be it can, it can just be like laid together, you know. We could go up here, but I'm not like I'm not going to. Now there might be some some kind of weird stuff going on a little bit like the normal or what it you know what it was before. As long as it's correct then I don't care, you know? Like, some stuff is gonna be kind of strange. We need the VCC coming out. We need D... We need the other data line. We need the VCC, right? So we can go here and just kind of go up 
and just shoot up over. And we can just do it like, like that. This one requires the opposite side. Okay, it won't it won't do the red side, right? I'd rather have it straight and then come up and then go over, right? And the ground is already hooked in, so we don't have to worry about it on this pin. Okay. This ID pin is absolutely nothing. Nothing. And I've already checked it just to make a hundred percent sure. And there's there's like there's absolutely no need for it, need for it. So. The USB covers covers like both, so it's really like not not a big deal. And just in case, we're gonna check the USB. You know, we're, we'll check it later. And one thing that is kind of like, you know, concerning is like which direction. Obviously, the the USB goes on top. The on top, right? So. We want to make sure that like those those are correct, like everything everything works correctly that way. Because the old one had a bunch of like pins and things, so one thing we we can make sure is that is that everything is absolutely one hundred percent correct before we go and do it. All right. Anyway, moving on. One thing we know is correct is this because these share pins, right? So that's really like a non-issue. We can see it, right? And we'll, we definitely will have to check. We'll have to check the routing for this 3.5 millimeter as well. And to see like, oh, well, you know, like there aren't enough pins, right? Or there are enough pins or whatever we can kind of check that now actually and what I'm talking about here is like this okay let's see if we can yeah like this part right here Here, we're gonna eliminate PCB here. We're just gonna go to Ergo Docs parts list. If it's gonna work, okay. Okay. Before, like, before when I searched, I got like a full parts list. Today we're we're striking out, maybe. Let's see if we get uh, the actual part. Maybe not. We'll have to we'll have to do that later. Like I'm not I'm not too worried about it, you know. I think this is it. Yeah, here we go. All right, so you can see the TRRS. This is like TRS cable, but we need the 3.5 millimeter jack. So we want to look at the this this jack, right? And see, like, one thing we, we, if we could, oh, there we go. One thing we can see about this jack, right, is there are pins on both sides. Here. 
There are pins on both sides of this board. There's one, two, three, and four, right? And five. There's actually five on here. And one thing you have to be careful of is like, which side, which side you put the jack on, you know? And you can see like, and one, those are some of the, these are some of the pitfalls, right? So you can see on this side, ground is one and is on the right hand side. And on here, ground is one is also on the right hand side, right? So like, I'm assuming that one of these is wrong. Okay. Split board. Yeah, well, I mean, this is like the pitfalls of split boards, right? Or is it correct? Or is it correct, right? What is it? Is it correct or not correct? I don't know. If I put if I put this on the top, right? One is going to be on the top. And if I put, you know, so like, is that going to be correct? Or is it, is it not going to be correct? You know, and this is going to go on top as well. In this case, both of the rights are ground. So are they going to connect correctly? Yeah, most likely, yes. But this isn't usually a problem. And I, I, I'm telling you, like, this is a problem with the Ergo Docs. And this is not a problem normally. Because normally, normally we don't have this problem, right? I'll show you why. Why we, this is only a problem on the Ergo Docs. This confuses me, I'm dumb. <laughs> well, like, it's, it wouldn't confuse you if you, if people would just use normal TRRS jacks, right? Like, if you look at this TRRS jack, okay? We can see that A, A is like, we had, let's just take a look at A, right? A is gonna be like, it goes to the same pin, right? So all the pins, all the pins on this TRRS jack are the same. And there's only one pin for each one, right? So there's no way to mistake it, right? A always goes to A and B always goes to B, right? All this, right? When you're connecting these two sides together for the slice, you know, C is ground, right? You can see C is ground always, right? So you know it's gonna be, you know it's gonna be correct. Like the problem with this jack is, is like, you know, like you wanna make sure a hundred percent that everything is the same. The other weird part about this is, is like, is like, uh, do, does one and four, are one and four actually different parts? Like, are these, are these connected somehow inside here? Or not, you know? Look at this. Right? The only way to find out is to look at the data sheet. So, okay, one here, one, two, three, and four, right? Okay, it's gonna add, it's gonna go in here. Okay, it shows you, it shows you like when it when it goes in, like how that all works, right? And you can see, right, one, two, three, and it says five here. Or like, I don't understand, like why this one has five, right? You can see sleeve, tip, ring one, ring two, and nothing. Okay. And here's a, here's a different one. Here's a five version. We don't need this. But there is a five version, right? And we can see that we're, we're not going to use the five version. We're going to use the four. So we're going to have the sleeve, the tip, the ring. Now, I used to be in telecommunications. Like, this is why. Like, this actually, this actually makes sense to me, you know? So... So we have to be careful, right? So one, one is here, four, two, and three, right? Okay. And we can see like, what, what else do we have? Here, two, 
two and six here. We're we're, we're already ha we already have a problem probably. I right, well, maybe we don't. We don't. Okay. So we have we have two, right? It's the same no matter what. Two or two. There's just an extra hole. There's just an extra hole and that's it. Okay. So as long as one and one go together, then it's gonna connect fine. Okay. And and four, okay? We're gonna put it in, th we have three and five. We have three and five, and the the, uh, the thing about three and five is they're both the same pin, right? SCLS, right? We don't have to worry. We have no worries in the world, right? They're the same. And we can see it's no, it's no, it's nothing anyway. Okay. So we know 100% that it's correct. We can see that these are separate. These sides are separate. They're not together. Otherwise, this would say 1-1 one, one or something like that. You have to be careful about that kind of stuff. Otherwise, we're going to end up with problems. So as long as we put them on the top, if we put them both on the top, they're going to connect just fine perfectly. But like this is reversible, we should actually make a non-reversible uh, part for this. But it doesn't matter because, because we're we know, you know, like it does, like no one's gonna put this upside down. But that is a problem. We probably should, to be honest, we probably should redo this, redo this, this uh, footprint and make it not reversible. And then what you're gonna do to make it not reversal is you're gonna you're gonna eliminate this pin, this six pin, and you'd eliminate like you could eliminate this five pin, but you don't have to. Actually, would we'll, we'll, you just leave it in? You would you would eliminate um, the six pin, I believe. Yeah, because there's no pin here, right? So, uh, sorry, not not the six pin, the. If you, this is the back, right? So you're gonna put it down and it's gonna be, the two pin is gonna be on the right hand side. So if the two pin is on the right hand side, you're gonna eliminate, you're gonna push it down in here and you're gonna eliminate this pin because this pin isn't gonna work anymore. But it's okay. So, and one, one thing that is definitely a, like an issue. If somebody has to hand assemble this, that's gonna be a problem. This USB is also reversible, but we cannot reverse it. We have to be careful. It doesn't matter about the USB though, because there's only one USB between the two boards, even though there's two on here. This one isn't even, we're not even gonna hook it up at all. We, we're actually gonna, we are probably just eliminate it to be honest. And, and then as long as they put it up on the top, it's fine. That's it. Cause we can see that, that this, like, uh, the markings are top, right? Like this marking is, uh, is D, D plus, right? Or D minus or whatever, right? And it's the F silk, right? And everything on here is F silk. So we can tell that the orientation of this USB is top. Is top, right? You can see that the, this is not F silk, right? This is a B silk, right? So the orientation of this USB is bottom, even though we're not going to use it. Okay. Sorry, it's better to check this stuff now and, and otherwise be wrong, you know? Like it's it's better to like do the research and feel good about like you did the research than to like be like I didn't do any research, I don't care or something, you know? Okay, so we're going to go around. We're going to go around with the VCCs, right? So with the 5 volts. So we're going to start at 14 and we're gonna move ourselves around the, the MCU, and it's honestly the this is the easiest way to do it. There's probably a better way, but who cares, right? So we're gonna start at 14 and move and move around, you know. Ooh. 
Oops. Yeah, dude, the vibe the vibe up in in today, man, is just amazing, you know. Two, like two doesn't go out to anything. I think. Let's check it. Let's check this out just to be sure. Like two, two actually doesn't go out to a cap. But it does get connected. And we can see that it's not connected now. So we, got, we should probably take care of it. Just to probably do better than that. Yeah, like this. Just go down and it's fine. Like it's it's fine to be honest. Like we could probably go ang like an angle, but we have if it's a via then ninety degrees is usually like not a really a big issue. Even though I don't I don't normally do ninety. Like I try to eliminate nineties, but for if you have a like if you have a via it's not it's not so bad you know. Normally I like I'll even try to avoid it and we can. We can actually avoid this by just like going like this or something, you know? Oops. We can avoid 90, de like unforeseen 90 degree angles by just like kind of, you know, just kind of moving it out. Let's see if, uh, it's pretty smart though, here. Now what we can do, yeah. We can actually just go right up like that. We can avoid the 90 degree angle altogether, which is honestly for the best. Wherever you can avoid 90 degree like traces, just do it. This stuff is not so bad. They're not much of an issue anymore to be yeah you're, you're right I mean you're right they're not much of an issue but it's like it's like good practice have okay, bad to bedtime for me all right man take care of yourself man dude thank you for coming out man I like I always appreciate the company man I appreciate the talking you know and like the company and just people coming to hang out with me while I attack while I attack PCBs you know and like I think I think the uh I think I think this one's got me, you know? Like versus usually like I own like I own PCB designs, like usually. I think this one like this one's got me, you know? <laughs> like it's been taking a while, you know? So funny. Dude man, thank you. Take care. So <laughs> Alright, so we can avoid the we can avoid the and it's not it's not as a like a big deal, but it's still good practice, right? I mean like, I would say it's, like, almost a non-factor in, like, real life. Like, I have 90 degrees in some of the designs that I sell, even. And, like, it still works no problem, you know? It doesn't have any problems at all. So, yeah. But I would still say it's something to be aware of. And I, you know, I would say, like, I want to teach a best practice if I can. And say, like, we sh like it's better to do it like this than to not do it, than to just, like, willy-nilly do something, you know? Or at least know about it, you know? I th I'd say that's better than not doing anything. Okay, so... So we went up from 44. Are we gonna go to 2? Yeah. Oops. Oh my god, okay. Alright, hold on. We can see that this this five volt just like goes it it just bypasses two and goes right into forty four. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah. All right. What about seven? What about two and seven? We have we do want to check two and seven though. 
Seven did get that. Seven does get the get it, okay? But two two did not, but seven does. So we'll that's what we'll do. Okay. Konnichiwa. Genki desu ka? Ja, gohun. Gohun. Gohun point wa. Eto, gohun. Eto, nihongo dake o tsukau. Eto, kono VCC wa kara. Eto, kono VCC. Eto, ko. Ni, ni, ni ban jinakte wa. Nana ban ni nari. Eto, nan. Eh, nanji mare. Eto, eto, hachiji yonju gohun wa nihongo dake. あ、ありがとうございます。えっと、ラブラブだね。はい、どうも。えっと、質問あったらいいね。クエスチョンだね。えっと、なんか日本語喋れるあとは、えっと、PCBの日本語話だけやります。オッケー。なんかあるいいね
えっ、ー、とグラウンドもえっ、ー、と何かねあすいませんこれもえこうやるよねえっ、ー、ともう少しちょっとでかいすぎだけどいいだよねオッケーこれもわかんないはい。えっと、なこれもう一回やる。There we go. そ,れそれ大丈夫です。あっ、オッケーオッケー。I think it's, I'm thinking we're good. It's 8:46 now. Did I, did I do enough Japanese or not? We could sit my, my my wife's over here. We could like sit her down and do nothing but Japanese. No, she she loves to use the English, you know. All right, so we made the VCC like a little bit larger. I might go ahead and do like some more. The ground stuff is not too bad though. I feel like in here we could actually make it um A little bit bigger, but these traces won't come out. I think this is that's fine to be honest. It might be nice to do、um, a little bit thicker ground coming from the USB, but it's it's probably not really necessary. I definitely want to do it here though. I'd really like to bypass this and、uh, here, move this up over here. And do like a nice thick ground that connects. Like this. We can go, we can even,、uh, we can actually connect these together as well. Start connecting some more ground together. If it's outside, if it's outside the MCU, I, it's probably better to have, to have some like, you know, thicker ground connections. There. I feel good about it. I feel better about this. Okay. All right, let's go. So we we connected the ground and the VCC to the ground here. All right, so we're good we're good to go there. And we need the, the I2C, so we need the SDAS and the SCLS. And the one thing we can do to get this going correctly is, uh, it's just eliminating, like, here. And, uh, we can try to, like, tighten this up a little bit. I'd rather have this, like, just come down. There. Because this is gonna come over here. And so, probably the best thing to do is to make it so it's a little bit easier to manage. I wonder if we should come. Ah,、oh, you know what we can do? I didn't even think about it. We have, we have like through hole. So we can, we can actually just 
We can actually just go like this. Or we can add, we can just do it for one. And then like, just do it, just do it for that one. And then like run the, and then just run it. Like run them both all the way. And they have to go in a really nasty, like nasty place, you know? Like they have, like, I think they're both on the op, li like the literal opposite end of where we, where they need to go. Whatever language you want to use is fine. <laughs> nice. Thank you. Thank you. No, I like using Japanese, man. I love you. I, like, I love using both languages, to be honest. So. All right, we're, we're going to do our, our end runs. Are we ready? Are we ready to do some end runs? We're, now we're down to 52. We got these last 52 connections that we have to do, and then, and then done. And I wonder what, like, I wonder what this it's complaining about. It's gonna, like, it's gonna complain about, like, a bunch of stuff. Probably. I wonder what this is, like, all about, though. We'll see it. We'll see how that like, like pad. It's like pad too close to pad. Like that's kind of weird, because like it must be there must be some ergo doc settings in here, because like I never I never get that with uh, the MCU's. All right, let's do our end runs. I'm gonna do the, the uh, the thumb cluster. And do all the and like finalize all the routes for the rows and the columns. And I think like I'm I'm gonna do like a little bit. I probably won't. I mean it's already almost three hours, so good evening, man. Zaniard is is late to the late to the game, bro. But dude, thank you for stopping by, man. I, I do appreciate. So we're gonna go uh column thirteen. And we can't get out. We can't get out of this. So probably the best way to do it, this is not. It's just a via the ground. And just run the ground as like. Because it's just the ground, you know. It's not really like a huge ordeal. And I would rather see. We have to run it a little bit smaller. We're just going to run it like this. Hello. <laughs> Papa, Papa Zen. <laughs> now let's see if we can run. Tw I don't think we can run 24. We can't run 24 all the way down into the MCU. Let's see what the the largest we can run out of the MCU is. The largest we can run out of the MCU is uh, the 16. So probably... Oops. Let's see what we ran here. We ran... We ran the full... I believe we ran the full 24. It's the point six, right? Yeah, we ran the full 24 all the way to the MCU. But in here, we cannot. So what I'm going to do is... I'm going to... I'm going to run... The columns as like 16.
Okay. And here we have our first column. What else do we have? We have L, E, D, A, and B up in here. And I wonder if we can, we probably can, like, straight up just, like, like get this over right now. I feel like uh, this is going to be one of those, those things that are just going to be easy to, like, get taken care of. Three F outside while I'm done. Hiya. What is three F? Has it been cold and snowy where you are? Man, it has been nasty up in here the last couple days. Dude, it's freezing. Again. Like, it was good for a while, and now it's like... It's like, it's super cold again. All right, so we need A and B, right? Three, three Fahrenheit. Ouch. Uh, I think it was in in Milwaukee, where I'm from. It's like it's like minus. Isn't it like we're super cold right now? All right, we're going to go like this. Let's see what we can do here. We're going to run it exactly like this. There. That's like it looks terrible, but we're going to we're going to make it look better. Potential polar vortex coming in or something. That's what I heard, man. I've been watching the... I watch the U.S. news all the time. So, obviously, you know. So. I just... It just I just so happen... I watch the news. I watch the news maybe too much, to be honest. But lately, it's, I've been kind of dying off from it. Alright, so we have our LEDs. This whole side is done. Is done basically except for we can see uh, we have VCC in here so we're not gonna worry about it we're gonna see a couple of these traces go across to the other side and that's really a non like a non issue oh yeah we are gonna hook up the ground the ground here to the reset button just in case we actually don't have to but that's okay all right was a polar vortex that like wherever you are is, is there a pol polar vortex right coming your way now I want to know tell me are you expecting polar vor vortex action coming soon? Tell me, tell me about it, yeah. Wind chill this morning was minus 13 Fahrenheit. We'll see how bad we get hit. Oof. Dude, take care of yourself. Like, bundle up, you know? Like, I complain about, like, lately I complain about, like, nothing, you know? But, like, my house does get cold. And my house, like, I don't know, Japanese air conditioners are just terrible. Two years ago, it was minus 40 wind chill craziness. Dude, man, that's crazy. Dude, minus 40 is nuts. 
I can't do it. I can't do it anymore. Like that's that's one re that's another reason why like Milwaukee is just like, and Chicago like Chicago too is, is like super is pretty cold. But at least Chicago is not as like bad as Milwaukee. I feel like I I know for a fact that it like Chicago is not as bad as like as Milwaukee is. You know. <laughs> it was so cold my apartment was freezing over like the doors and the walls were just coated in ice what what is this man <laughs> all right all right one thing we're gonna do okay so we so right here we're gonna we we need to come up with rows, right? Let's see if we can do a row or two. We're like if we come up here, we're just gonna run in. We're gonna run into problems, right? So I say like maybe we should come up over here, and this is a ground here. This can be eliminated. It's just a ground. So we can we can we can deal with that like I don't like like I don't mind I don't mind making vias for ground stuff I don't even I don't mind that at all so right here we have a row a row there let's try to hit row four you can see we're we're gonna have to come up and uh we can come up and go around it, right? So this D, this D via is gonna have to just move. There's like, there's gonna be some things we can do here. We can kind of move this stuff around. And to, to make room for what we're gonna do. I want row, I want row four to come up. And what we'll do is, oh, it's gonna come up, sorry. Yeah, it's gonna come up, is it gonna come up in green or red? Now, everything else comes up in red, so probably the best way to go about doing it is to have everything come up in green instead. Or we could via it and have it come up in red, but I like it's gonna have to be red anyway. So this these are just like some of the challenges. Now everything here is green, so if we're gonna come up over here, we either have to come up red uh with these, or we have to come up red we have to come up red with all this stuff. And all this has to change to red so that we can come up in green here. The other challenge is we have to we have to kind of plan because we have we have this problem right we have all the columns are red all right and the columns are 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 they all on this bottom area yeah they are so most likely what's going to happen here is they need to they need they all need to be routed over this way right so these these are all going to be if we continue on them with red and then come up with green. See that's the weird that's the weird part about this, right? We don't want to via if we can help it. We don't want to do like a bunch of vias or stuff. We want to kind of like a nice a nice clean route. So we ha we have to plan this a little bit. Now, probably the better thing to do here is to if we're going to have to come up straight because all we have these five, these six rows, is to come up green all the way, all the way to here. So this is gonna have to change to red, probably. This is gonna have to go on the back side, or excuse me, the front side, and this is, and then all this is gonna get run on the back side, and then all the, all the. 
like all of these columns are gonna go red across across to their respective pin. And so it'll be like it'll be green up and then red, 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 everything. That's probably the best way of doing it. It was so cold. Oh, it felt like a damn movie. <laughs> that is terrible, man. That is terrible. All right. I'm like, I'm good for the day. At least I have an idea of what I'm going to do. And where are we at? Let's let's take a look. What did we get done today? We we only have 50 unconnected items yet. So we are 50 connections away from finishing this board, maybe. <laughs> All right. I probably will. I probably will do some of this board, uh, like off stream, just to like get it out of the way, because like it's like it's becoming a meme at this point, you know. And I like <laughs> I have Thursday off too, so like I have plenty of stuff to do, and it would be nice to like start getting on a new project. So maybe I'll do, maybe I'll do, like, I'll do some, some work on it, you know? <laughs> I think I might. Just, like, so I don't end up, like, an old man doing, like, an Ergodox, you know? So. And the funny thing is that I want to do more Ergodox stuff, too, because I want to make one that has the USBs on both sides. And the hot swap and the and the MCUs on both sides, like a real split. And the 3.5 millimeter jacks on both sides. So so that is like a, a project that's gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. We can oh this does look nice though. This routing looks great. I hope we can I hope we can get some really nice routing. We need we definitely need some nice routing here. So we'll see how that goes. But actually, this looks... I, I'd say this looks pretty fire, you know? Like, this... This looks good. This is gonna... It will... This will look good when... When we get it nice and routed evenly. And... And things like that, so... And uh, the other thing is, like, these traces... I want them to be the same thickness on both sides, I'm, thi I'm thinking. So I might... I might do something about that. I'm not gonna retrace the uh, the left hand again, so I might come up thicker trace and then kind of go in and as a thinner trace. So for this, so we'll see how that we'll see how that plays out. I found this website you might be interested in. What website is that? You should just just like uh, just type it out or whatever. Type something. What would I be interested in? Unless you're a unless you're a bot, then I'm gonna like then I'm gonna ban you. <laughs> All right, guys, man. Like I'm about to get out of here, so thank you guys for coming out today. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna go to the just chatting. It's three hours, so uh, I'm good. I'm good to go for the day. Thank you guys. Any questions today? I'm gonna go and raid somebody, but I don't know who I'm raiding yet. Let's find someone to raid. Yeah, thank you, man. I think that was a bot. I'm gonna I'm gonna ban someone now. Here, hold up. Ba -ba. All right. All right, there we go. All right, let's. See. Who who are we rating? We need. Uh, first we need, we need our trusty moon landing. Okay. Let's let's actually raid somebody this time. Last time, last time, uh, I messed up the person's name because they used a zero. They used a zero instead of an O, and I was like, "What? Like, what's the deal here?" You know.
it was really strange. And then people are like, people are like, well, th this is nothing, you know? All right, let's let's see what we let's see who who we can raid. Oh, dude, Jojo's on. What is Jojo doing on? I wonder. Is he actually doing something? Budget keyboard modding. Okay, let's let's uh let's let's crash up on Jojo. He's all, dude, he's a good, he's a good, he's an amazing person. All right, man. Thank you, guys. Take care of yourself. Please don't uh, get too cold, you know? Like, do your best. All right, cheers. Not thin at all. And it is double shot. Ooh, hello, two moons. Welcome, welcome.